Good morning students, UGCNet has released the admit card on the official website, particularly for English literature students. The exam will be in the two shifts. You can simply visit the website ugcnet.nta.nic.in, scroll down the page and from here you can download the admit card for shift 1 as well as shift 2. An ungrateful thing about this examination is that many many students go to the center very far away from their hometown and they may have to reach one day before the examination bearing the cost of traveling, stay and food. Due to this a lot of students will skip the exam which is not at all a good thing. In almost all the countries gift of education is free but here in India we don't know what's happening. Three years ago new education policy came out and since then we are not even able to develop a robust academic bank credit system. It seems that we are in a habit of living in such a system. No one wants to talk about it. So let it be and embrace the situation as it is. Talking about the morning and evening shifts, particularly in English literature, COVID-19 came to India in 2020 and after that we saw the examinations have been conducted in two shifts. The question paper on English literature was tough in evening shift, both in 2021 as well as 2022. But the good thing is that there was some relaxation given to the evening shift students. You can say like the cutoff of English literature evening shift was lower than the cutoff of English literature morning shift. Yes, we don't have any different different cutoff for both the evening and morning shift. But when they calculate the percentile, normalization method is used so that no student can have an unfair advantage. That's fine. Normalization will help you balance the score. But what about the wrong questions? Last time it happened that almost 10 questions were incorrect in the morning shift of English literature. So marks were given to all for those 10 questions. Whether a student is uh, average student, whether he is intelligent, whether he has a knowledge of English literature or not, the 10 questions, the marks to of those 10 questions were given to all. And it also shows how unprofessional professors of English literature can be. They are getting the salary in five digits, like two lakh rupees, three lakh rupees, all those English literature professors, and they are setting such type of question paper. Above that, digital infrastructure, Many students complained about the lagging of computer system, although we have paid the application form fees of 1500 rupees and we are getting this much of services. So due to the wrong questions, there was increase of almost 5% in the cutoff of English literature. Generally the cutoff of English literature is 55% but the last time it was around 60% and that also caused increase of cutoff of JRF. It was like student who has about 97 or 98 questions right out of 150 in the last exam, they only got the JRF. Okay, so let's see what will happen in the upcoming examination, how the question paper will be set for both the morning shift and evening shift students. Also, let's expect that this time the examination will be conducted in smooth manner. And I also request UGCNet to figure out the weaknesses in their system and try to eliminate it. And I also wish you all the very very best for the examination. Keep studying and revising the notes. If you like watching this video, do not forget to subscribe the channel for more such updates. I will see you in the next video. That's it for this. Thank you.